Washington State. The Cougs. Oh, Jake Dickert. Coach Jake Dickert. I mean, well, in terms of in the Pac-12 and how things shook out these last uh, couple weeks, uh, Washington State got Dickert. They got Dickerted real bad. And uh, is this a bench? Is this a revenge tour? Is this a Washington State revenge tour? I don't know. Look, they lost a lot of talent on defense. And that's kind of what made this team surprisingly good last year. I took the over six, five and a half at plus 131. I took it because I actually believed in the offense. I believed in the uh, coaching hire. I believed in the offensive coordinator hire. I believed in Cam Ward as well. I thought they had some talent receiver. That that's why I took it. I thought that they could have a chance to upset some teams, but they they really took their defense to another level this past year. And I don't know that we've seen a whole lot of Washington State defenses do what they did last year. Dan Henley was a really good linebacker. He was one of the top linebackers on my NFL draft board. Uh, if I was to make one, which of course NFL teams care about my NFL draft board. You know, they're they're always looking at it, and getting ideas from it. So and Francisco Maigo transfers out to uh, Miami, where he's going to be an immediate impact starter. So that was two big losses there, Marty Ma. Armani Marsh, Derek Lamford. So, well, what do you think about Washington State? You know what? I like him. I, I'm I'm taking. I'm actually pounding the over. I'm sorry. I don't know why I was <laughs> was not super excited about him. I I love the the Dicker team. I think there's a lot to like with them. I think last year you went seven and six, and you still had a chance to beat Oregon. You blew that game late. You had a chance to beat Utah as well. Ben Arbuckle comes in, the offense coordinator, and I think to Washington State fans, um, glee for sure. You're gonna see less bubble screens and all that stuff that you had to do to um, to mitigate those the bad offensive line last year. I know you're gonna work into some new guys, a lot of battles in fall camp, um, but it could be okay. You got a little bit of depth maybe and position flexibility from guys if you do have some injuries. Um, I think it's all about Cam Ward and how does he improve. I, I'm I'm really high on him. I not I don't know if he'll be, you know, elite in the Pac-12 quarterbacks. I just think he's super fun. I think he can take over a game or a drive. Uh, the learning curve for him was a little bit tougher than people thought, for sure. But um, it sounds like he's working on his foot his footwork. They're they're kind of trending the offense back to what it was with him, at an Incarnate Word, um, which is which is obviously beneficial to him. They got deep running back room. You know, wide receivers, you know, Josh Kelly came in, Carlos Hernandez, a true freshman, DT Sheffield from Juco, Zion Lucia. I know he was terrible uh at catching the ball last year, but it sounds like he's he's get he's improving a little bit. And obviously the defensively, I mean, they were really damn good in Dickert's year one. And Rod Stone and um Brennan Jackson coming back. Uh hopefully they can be you know, pretty damn good. Uh look, I love me some Jake Dickert. But I I lean under here. I, I'm not taking the under. And I applaud you for taking the over because I took Jake Dickard in our coach's draft and people pooped on me for it. So I applaud you for taking Washington State. I do just think the defensive talent that was lost in this team is a lot. And I am a firm believer in Cam Ward, by the way. That's also on record, too. Now his deep ball was a little bit questionable last year, but uh Defensively, I think it's just a lot to replace. Yeah, I mean they did they did okay in the transfer portal, I think. <laughs> so still haven't seen these guys um playing a live game yet. So especially like this linebacker. I mean, I think they did okay in the transfer portal at linebacker. I think they filled the spots right, but well, you you're not gonna you're not gonna like like um uh, Henley's in the NFL right now. Like he's a stud. My go is over at 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 Miami. Um, you're not going to replace them and like upgrade at that position, but you you won't be bad, no. right? They haven't really fl- they haven't really you know been bad in camp. They got five guys that they believe in um, that you can play with. So yeah, it'll be a week to be you. You could almost like I talk about like the money ball thing where it's like you know we're, we can't replace you know Jason Giambi's you know OPS number or whatever, but we can he scored this many runs or whatever. Else. Like you can you can the in the aggregate you can you can kind of replace them. Yeah, I agree with that. Look, uh, this well, what do you think about the schedule here? I wanted to ask you that. I think Wisconsin, we do. I love that game. And you get it at home. I mean, Wisconsin, obviously, it's a different team. So they're not going to be quite as upset as they did because they blew that game last year, you know, in Madison. Um, I think that'll be really interesting. I Like, that's why I kind of like – look, so you got at, at Washington Week 13, 
got at Oregon week eight, at uh, at UCLA week six, Oregon State week four. I mean, those are that's four losses like that you kind of kind of chalk in, right? But that's still eight and four. And if you sneak out that against Wisconsin, right, you're looking really really pretty. If not, like last year, right, they didn't lose, they didn't beat anybody they shouldn't have beaten, but they didn't lose that anybody they shouldn't beat. And I feel like it's a similar team this year. That's going to be really consistent. That's going to be a team that you can trust week in and week out. So I think seven wins is is not like seven, eight wins is kind of the ceiling there, but I think seven is super, super realistic in year two of Jake Dicker, you know? Look, I hope so. I hope so. 